M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So here, here we are with the ICOM 706 Mark II. This is the one that has two meters. And if you're going to use a repeater with this, you need the UT86 tone board inserted so that it will transmit and open up the repeater. But otherwise it's HF, six meters, two meters, very nice sounding speaker on this. And overall, I think it's an excellent choice. If you're looking for a retro radio and you want to get on to HF, six meters let's just turn it up now and have a quick listen it, it just totally drowned everybody out um total exclusion apart from trevor uh when the qsb came in it was a problem with trevor turn on the band scope uh, the noise blanker reduced it quite So it does not have an ATU, but these days you can buy them uh, quite inexpensively. Also, you can buy antennas that are ready-made inexpensively for the bat. For if you get one with a 49 to 1 ballon and a 66 foot length of wire, you're going to cover cover some very good bands like 40, uh, 20, and 10. So uh, that's worth considering as well. Now, if you do buy an antenna tuner, there is a shortcut uh, button here that automatically uses that tuner. You have a preamp here and an attenuator, and if you hold it, there's your attenuator, preamp, green light, on off power, headphones here. Now there's three, really there's three lots of menus on this radio. So if we use a display button, if you start with the M menus, M here, with push the display and you can cycle through um, from M1, M1, so split mode, A, B, A to B, memory write, memory to VFO, and then VFO memory. So you can have memory and also band stacking. Uh, filter, IF filter, by turning the outer knob here, you have your volume here. RF gain squelch on the outside knob here. Noise blanker, and meter selection, you've got ALC, power, SWR, that's M3. M4 Vox, and then you have comp your compressor, voice compressor. There is a screw adjustment on the right-hand side of the radio. AGC as well, fast, and I'm guessing either off or slow, is it? So M1 split mode for repeaters and other useful functions, and A to B. And then if you press display, you get to the shortcut function. So you've got scan, priority channel if you've put one in, and VFO memory. Push it again, All right, stay on S a bit longer, S3, band stacking, shortcuts the different bands. Back to, back to S1, and you notice that the S1 is what they call a memory pad, a memory pad write and listen and also recall. Push it again, you get the G functions. So we had on the G1, we had scope, G2, the IF shift, the visual IF shift, let's find someone. That a nice visual IF shift, and it works well. And that sounds good, and this nice speaker, that's just the standard speaker. G2, G3, it shows you what you're TXing on. G4, memory name, that's for adding, you know, so it's, if that's the memory channel, you can now name it. For the, the changing the frequencies, the bands are on the right here, up and down. Nice and simple, just scroll up and down. The mode, again, nice and simple, go all the way across, LSB, USB, RTTY. But if you, on CW, if you hold it, CWR, just see if it does anything when you hold it on LSB. No, it just switches it. Let's go to RTTY. Oh, look, RTTY reverse as well. Okay, and then you've, as you can see, you've got tone selections here as well for repeater use. Where do we see that? There it is there. Tone, tone squelch. Like I said, you need the UT86 board to use tones. Vox M4. Right, I think that covers it. VFO, and you've got an adjustment on the right of the VFO, which makes the knob either sort of harder to turn or easier, I would say, uh, on this. But when it's all the way up, it's, it's nice and smooth, I think. Lock button here. 
as well and you have the other function where if you turn it off hold the lock button turn it on you have these selections which could be important depending on your use scan through that to come out just turn it on and off and it does come turn on and off very quickly it's not like these modern sdr radios where you have to wait <laughs> although i do like them let's get back into lsb to change the frequency steps just press the ts button again but if you want if you put it so that the arrow is there then hold it and look, you can really change the tone steps like that. So I think it's an excellent radio, and overall I highly recommend it. And second hand, you get these for about £350. Uh, so have a look around. Obviously, there's lots of choices. If you want the Mark II uh, G model, you get 70 centimetres. It includes the tone board. And if you're lucky, you'll have one with a DSP board as well. And that's probably the one I'd recommend. But I just got this one cheap for, for doing this, these videos. And, uh, but, you know, I you know, I will hang on to it for quite a while. Thanks for watching my channel. Catch you on Air 7.3. All the best.